So the scripture for today is from the book of Genesis, chapter 16, verses 9 and 11, and it reads, The angel of the Lord said to her, that is to Hagar, Return to your mistress and submit to her. The Lord has heard your suffering. And the meditation is the following. Hagar fled from Sarah. It seemed impossible for her to tolerate her persecution. But the angel of the Lord instructed her to return to her designated service. In the cup of human suffering, there cannot be a single unnecessary drop. It is easy to run from a trial, but what will that accomplish? Let us not take our fate into our own inept hands, but humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, as it says in the first epistle of St. Peter, chapter 5, verse 6, and let us leave everything to him. We will humble ourselves and then receive the blessing from above. Hagar reached the point of despair, but here an unprecedented mercy was revealed to her. The angel told her about the birth of her son, Ishmael. Ishmael means the Lord has heard. Let people be deaf to our needs. Let them denigrate and insult us. We will be comforted. The Lord hears us. And when he sends us relief, his mercy is so much greater than our suffering that we no longer remember it. Let us be content that the Lord hears us and let us cease complaining and grumbling. The Lord will never send us trials beyond our strength. He himself will lead us through the tearful waters of our sorrows. Let us always accept God, the living God, like Hagar did when she humbled herself before him and listened to his voice, knowing that he heard her suffering. <laughs>